Some people believe that the key to winning elections is racking up all of the insider endorsements, all of the institutional support. What we believe is that the key to winning elections in Massachusetts for a Democrat the first time in 20 years is person to person, neighbor to neighbor, street to street, house to house, and finally taking back the Commonwealth of Massachusetts one person at a time. I think all of us who've cut turf and, and, and made phone calls and held signs on the Taunton Green or God knows uh, some other place um, kind of remember how kind of raw and crude that could be. You had your walk list. If you were local, if you knew the area, you could tell the, the, the kid who was with you that no, you don't want to knock on that door, even though the list says to do it. Um, but that was kind of gut or instinct or knowledge that you couldn't replicate all the time. Candidates, I think, would simply, you know, how many ads can I run on TV? Can I put a spot in the newspaper? Can I do some radio? Field, I think, was mostly, you know, maybe some additional piece that you put in. And then 2006 uh, happened. And what for me was the most interesting was, first of all, you had this, this improbable candidacy um, running against the kind of the institution. And I think about this also when I think about uh, the president's first election and the way they approached it is, of necessity, the only path was to run a different kind of race. Because if you just do the same old, same old, you get crushed, you know? Change the game. One of the lines that I think, um, for me, that I always um, really focus on about Governor Patrick is when he talks about a politics where we turn to each other and not on each other. And for me, that crystallizes this difference. That, you know, it's this old, wonderful American ideal that, you know, there are certain things that I can do on my own and I'm gonna do them fine. But you know what, if we do some stuff together, we'll be twice as good. Uh, and it's that sense of community, which is why he has always a certain inflection when he says the word commonwealth because it's kind of at the core of what this experiment that we have here in Massachusetts is all about. But, you know, my personal story um, it is really enriched by that, by, by his sense of, of paying it forward. But for, you know, um, you know, John Walsh calling me and saying, I want you to be a debate partner with Deval Patrick and my saying, oh my God, why would I want to do that? Have someone yell at me for a couple of hours. Uh, I would not be, um, I, literally, I would not be sitting here today, you know, thinking about the great honor uh, that I have on a daily basis. Uh, and it's only because, it's only because instead of simply, you know, relying on the very good and very capable people who, you know, were, were always around and, and could do it, he built a team um, that was a whole bunch of folks who w weren't part of it. That is not an idle gesture. That idea of paying it forward, that sense of intergenerational responsibility to those who you know and to those whom you don't know, goes to the core of, of the character. Uh, and what a lesson, you know, not only in government, but in business, and in the way you live your day-to-day -day lives. I mean, the openness um, that he brought to it is pretty extraordinary.